Item number, SCP-886. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-886-A Alpha and SCP-886-A3 are to be kept in dedicated humanoid containment suites at Biosite 66 and allowed nutritious rations three times daily. SCP-886-B21 through SCP-886-B23 are to be kept in containment chamber 886 Delta, designed as an appropriate climate-controlled indoor paddock on site and provided with appropriate feed. Additional members of SCP-886 may be bred if appropriate reasons for research are presented. If research is not being undertaken, offspring of both SCP-886-A and SCP-886-B are to be destroyed immediately after birth. Descriptions SCP-886 is the collective designation of unique mammals capable of cyclic asexual reproduction. SCP-886-A are identical human females, homo sapiens, of Irish descent, and SCP-886-B are identical female domestic Irish goats, Capra agagrius hercus. Members of SCP-886-A and 886-B develop and behave as expected of ordinary individuals of their species and are completely ordinary outside their shared anomaly. SCP-886-A alpha is the oldest and presumably original instance of SCP-886-A. SCP-886-A is a human female, age 37, of average intelligence and stature. Once a year during the spring, SCP-886-A Alpha will spontaneously become pregnant and carry twin instances of SCP-886-B to term. Gestation mirrors that of a standard goat averaging between 140 and 160 days. Instances of SCP-886-B will be female, with white fur and of average size. SCP-886-B are friendly and notably docile, having never displayed any form of aggression towards humans during containment. The milk and meat of SCP-886-B may be consumed safely. The anomaly does not appear to be infectious. At the age of two and a half years, each specimen of SCP-886-B will spontaneously become pregnant, each with a single human infant. Infants born of SCP-886-B are genetically identical to SCP-886-A Alpha, designated SCP-886-AXX. SCP-886-AXX will develop as normal human females until age 15 when they will begin to exhibit the anomaly in the fashion previously described. SCP-886-A Alpha does not know how or why she began to exhibit her anomaly, only that it began suddenly and without warning. Similarities between SCP-886 and SCP-2910 have been noted. An investigation into whether SCP-2910 is a variant or altered version of the anomaly seen within SCP-886 is currently ongoing. Addendum Recovery of SCP-886 SCP-886-A Alpha was discovered by embedded agent Donnelly when a local newspaper released a story regarding her anomalous pregnancy in a weekend column. A cover story revealing the column as a piece of short fiction was released, and associated civilians were altered appropriately. A task force was called to the area an SCP-886-A Alpha was extracted under the guise of a car accident. Family and friends are being monitored for further anomalies, with special attention paid to the subject's sisters and daughter. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-885, Living Vacuum, right now. Or for the complete course, Watch this playlist.